do you think Jesus is coming soon or do you think he's coming a little late? That's a great question, Josh. Great question. Um, I do think we need to constantly remind ourselves what Jesus said, and that is no one knows the day or the hour, uh, not even the angels in heaven, but only the Father. That's in Matthew 24 and verse 36. And while we cannot know the exact moment that Christ will return, we are wise to pay attention to the signs. And these signs are not intended to scare us. They're simply intended to prepare us. You know, when I was in the fourth grade uh, and my brother, three years older than I, uh, was in the seventh grade. My dad went off to Maine from Texas for three months, three months. My mom was left in charge of these two hoodlums. And boy, did we drive her crazy. And she would often tell us, you know, your dad's coming back. And depending upon what we needed to hear, she would either say that as a word of comfort or a word of warning. <laughs> you know, if we were lonely and missing him, she would say, now your dad's coming back. If we were just the opposite, she would say, now your dad's coming back. You know, as, as Christians, we, we need both reminders. We do. An awareness of the impending return of Christ will cause us to lead a, a holy life, to stay alert. Uh, an awareness of the return of Christ will comfort us in hard times, these hard times like the ones in which we find ourselves. Many people these days look into the future and they see only reason for anxiety, reason for fear. But we can choose to face the future either with the eyes of fear or through the lens of faith. And our Lord Jesus loves us and he tells us what to expect. Again, not to scare us, but just to prepare us, to keep us alert so that we might even say, you know, Jesus told us this was going to happen. He told us this was going to happen, and it reminds us that, that he's, he's in control. We've all been on those airplanes that passed through times of turbulence, and we don't like that pilot who doesn't say anything, right? Drives my wife crazy. Why didn't he say anything, you know? We love the pilot who comes over the intercom and says, okay, for the next 10 or 15 minutes, keep your seatbelt buckled, or we're going to pass through some turbulence. We, we appreciate that. I believe our Lord is talking to us, saying us things are gonna get turbulent, it's, it's gonna be bumpy, but it's going to be okay. A good pilot keeps his passengers informed and our good father does exactly the same.